Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do something really fun and exciting. I mentioned in a few videos that I got a new piece of furniture to store my makeup in and it's been put together for a few days but I wanted to save actually organizing it and putting everything in it and share it with you because I know I love to watch videos like that and I know a lot of you do too. So we're going to be going through and organizing all of my makeup in the new piece of furniture. So that is what we are going to be doing today and if you're new my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's just get started. This is probably going to take a while so this may be a long video. I'm not sure how much talking I'll do in it. I'll probably talk a little bit and then do a lot of speeding things up and playing music or something. But let's get into it before we get started. I'm gonna show you where my makeup is at right now and then I'll show you the new piece and we'll get into it. Okay, so this is my new piece that I've already showed you one time. This is from Ikea and it's the Malm dressing table. So it's the one that has the big drawer in it like this and we replaced this and then I used to have Alex five drawers on the side or on each side of this table um, but I ended up putting them in my closet right here so for right now all of my makeup is in here and everything is going to need to be moved out. I do still have this piece I used to use a long time ago, but I don't really have anything in here anymore. I don't love how small and shallow these drawers are. They're really hard to use. So I just have some random stuff in here right now, like I used to use that organizer and then that's empty. So I don't know. I may end up selling that or using that for something else. I don't know. But basically we need to take everything out of here and put it in my new dresser. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so this is it. So this is from Ikea and it's also the Malm, like that new piece back there. But this is the Malm six drawer dresser, I think is what it's called. And it's in the wood finish instead of the white. So we just, we, me and my mom put this together. It was not easy to put together, let me tell you. So I just have a few like random little things up here. This is what used to be in my background of my videos. This cute little dish I just got at Target. I love it. And then over here, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these here, but for now I have this little turning organizer with my setting sprays and then I have my dossier perfumes right there. So that's what it looks like. So let me show you inside. Okay, look how big these drawers are. I cannot, I just don't even know what to do with myself with all this space, but I threw some of my organizers that I've gotten recently in here already. So these are lipstick holders, obviously. There's three of them. I got those from TJ Maxx. And then these are also lipstick holders, but they have a few compartments that are a little bit thicker for lipsticks that aren't like the traditional size. That's just a random clear acrylic thing from Target. And let's see, I think three more in here. Okay, so that is one of my older organizers as well. That company unfortunately does not exist anymore. It was called the Cosmetics Archive. And I ordered a few organizers from them a few years ago and they're such great quality. They look like this, but they don't exist. I cannot find this company anymore. But anyway, this is one of their pressed powder organizers that I really wasn't using before, but now I have plenty of room for it. So I have that in here. And then down here, I just threw a few more things. I just got these clear organizers from Amazon. So you can just kind of lean your palettes and separate them in here. I only got two, 
for now, but I can always get more if I end up needing more. And then this is a single shadow organizer that I also got from TJ Maxx. I definitely recommend looking at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for this kind of thing because it's usually a lot cheaper there or Amazon. So that's kind of all I have in there to start. I do have organizers that are already being used in the Alex 5 drawers that I'll bring over here. But I guess we can just go ahead and get into it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to uh, organize these yet. I, th I think I'm probably going to do like primer and foundation together, concealer, color corrector. I guess I'll just have to see what fits in a drawer together and what makes sense because these drawers are so much bigger than I'm used to but that's what I really like about it so I can actually see what I have so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my makeup and get it all out of the Alex 5 drawers and I'll bring it out here and we will get started Okay, so there's gonna have to be a little uh, container for things that won't fit, like the House Labs foundation is too fat to fit in there, so that's gonna have to go, my Patrick Pa foundation, and then this L'Oreal Age Perfect. Okay, the only thing left for primers is all of my flawless filters and my e.l.f. halo glows, but I have quite a few of these, so I know they're not going to go in there. Actually, maybe I can find another container that's this size and put it right here and stand these up in there. Yeah, so if I one of these there I think I should be able to stand these up hopefully yes I have a lot of them don't judge me I can't help it okay perfect so those fit pretty perfectly in there so that's it for foundation and primer and now we'll move on to concealer Okay, so my concealers were in this thing before, and I think it's actually going to fit perfectly in here, and I just have this one space here. I had my correctors in here, but this is like just slightly too large. It won't go down all the way, but I found another one that fits perfectly. So we're going to put concealer in here and correctors in here and then the only free space is this little square back here and I think I might have something that fits there too but let's go ahead and put my concealers back in here. this oh no no it's too fat you guys I mean I guess I could use it like that but that's kind of annoying. 
then I have this one, but that doesn't work either. Because I still have my like potted correctors. I think that is good for now. And the only stuff that's not included in here are the things in my everyday makeup drawer. And I switch those out once a month, so I'm not going to worry about those for right now. But I think this drawer is done. Okay, so the next drawer down, I'm thinking is going to be blush and bronzer, I think, and maybe highlighter in here as well, but I already have this organizer in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for blush or bronzer. I'm not sure. And then I also have, let me show you, so my blushes were in that one right there. Highlight and then bronzers are there. I don't know if I should keep them in these same things or if I should switch them out to have a bunch of like these clear containers too. Because I kind of want to split up cream blushes, powder blushes, cream bronzers, powder bronzers, you know? Um, so I'm just going to play around with this for a minute. So that is most of my powder blushes. Yes, I know. I still have cream blushes though, and obviously those are not going to fit in here. So I need to figure out. Oh, and actually I need to put some of that paper down in this drawer really quickly. <laughs> bunch of like stick blushes and then I have like one of these y'all know the Virgo in me wants to put <laughs> all of the colors that I have from the same brand together like those are all persona blushes and then I have these these are nude sticks blushes then I have two dibs sticks see this is so much better because I can see what I have you know it's just way better I know like this NARS orgasm blush needs to be standing up these Charlotte Silberys can lay like that and then like, the ones I only have like one of like the makeup by Mario the Clinique Huda Beauty this is a cream blush from Shiseido that is so pretty, but it's discontinued. <laughs> but I'm keeping it because I love it. But it can definitely be in here. A little milk one. A new essence one. And then I have a Bare Minerals powder blush. Let's see. I have two of the Fenty cream blushes, Refi Galactic Rose Ink, and then I have my e.l.f. blushes, it's a wet and wild stick, and then I have my Rare Beauty blushes, I really want to put these together. Also, mm. rare beauty and say can go together, and I think that's it for blushes. Okay, so that's not bad. I may end up rearranging this 
again. The trickiest part are these blushes, like ones that are kind of smaller powder blushes like this that kind of small to take up a whole slot over here but then like some of them you also can't double them up and put them together so that's kind of what I'm unsure of now I don't know if I should put them somewhere else and not take up one of these spots or not because I don't want to stack too much on top of each other in here otherwise that's just creating more of a problem because I just want to be able to see the things that are in here. I guess I'll just stick them back here for now and then I may end up rearranging them. Okay so I couldn't find another one of these in this size so I found two smaller ones to fit that way and then this is a random organizer kind of like this one over here I found at Home Goods. I wish I could find more, but I just randomly found this one. Uh, I think it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots in it. And then I ended up switching this out for two of these that are the same size and splitting this apart so that this would fit right here. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. So let's try to put my bronzers in here. Pretty much everything put away now so I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this but I basically put my powders here and my creams back here for now it's fine and then we have that space back there that I was thinking I could use for my Patrick Ta blush palettes but then I may end up wanting to put these with my other face palettes I don't know Maybe actually I'll leave them there for right now and I may end up moving them but yeah okay so I guess we're making progress <laughs> this is taking quite a while but hopefully you are enjoying it I am gonna take a break and eat some lunch and then I'll be back so I have this thing but I also have this this is what I had my blushes in before and I also have that. I guess I'll try to fit powders in here and just see how I like it. Okay, I don't think I like powders in here. So let's try maybe putting them over here. Maybe I should not use this for face palettes. Let's see if I can do my highlighters in here. I don't have that many highlighters, so I feel like I should be able to. Okay. So yeah, my highlighters fit fine in there for now. I have these little things, these palette dividers. I was thinking I would use these for eyeshadow palettes, but I guess I could try using them for face palettes instead. Actually, do have one more hourglass face palette so I'm gonna leave a space for it so they can all be together it's in my everyday makeup drawer right now but um I think yeah that's everything for my powders 
my highlighters and my face palettes. So I have that big space over there. That doesn't fit there. Um, I don't know. I'm going to stick that right there for now. I don't know what will go there, but we're going to move on to something else for now. Okay, so now we'll move on to the other side, the top drawer. So I'm thinking in here we'll do brows, mascara, eyeliner, and maybe my single shadows and my shadow sticks possibly but we'll see so maybe we'll use this one in here back so you can see yeah maybe we'll try using this in here all right so yeah let's try doing brows eyeliner and mascara in here Okay, so that seems to fit fine here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put back there, but I think I'll leave this stuff here for now. And then I was thinking maybe my single shadows and my shadow sticks in here as well. So I have this little clear organizer from TJ Maxx that they say is for single shadows. So maybe I'll use that and I don't know, probably something else as well. I think that's it for in here for right now. I have tons of space back there, which is amazing. I'm not trying to fill up these drawers all the way. I need to have space. That's the whole idea. So I'm going to leave it for now. So we have uh, mascara, brows, eyeliners, single shadows, and shadow sticks. And then I did put my eye primers right here. I may end up putting those in the eyeshadow palette drawer. I don't know. But for now, I think we're good in here. Okay, let's do the lips now. I really want to do this drawer because my lip drawer has always been an issue. And I feel like now that I have these things, it should help. So let me... All of these came from TJ Maxx and they all have these stickers on them, but the stickers are so sticky and they don't want to come off. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to put, or actually, let me put the paper in here. So we'll put lipstick, lipstick. I don't even know if I'm going to need all three of these right now. I just got them so I would have them. Now I can at least separate my lip liners from high-end and drugstore. I've always wanted to do that, but I've never had the space for it. So we can do that too. But let's go ahead and work on the lipsticks right here. So we've got most of the lipsticks here. So I have plenty of room for growth, obviously, but let's go ahead and work over here. I'm thinking, uh, I know I wanna separate gloss and like lip balms and high-end lip liners and drugstore lip liners. I'm gonna put lip liners in here. Okay, so 
So we've got lip liners separated. Now I want to do glosses. Um, let's see. I just kind of stuck these in here and we'll just see how we do. I think we've got all the lip stuff other than I do have some lip balms that I probably need to move down here. So let me grab those. So that's everything for the lips other than, so I have a few Tom Ford lipsticks. And when I went to put these in the lipstick organizer over here, this full size Tom Ford is too large to fit in here. So I kind of need to find another home for these. Maybe I'll move these over here and put Tom Ford in its own little that's it for lips you guys plenty of space left which is really nice and yeah i'm happy with it last drawer you guys we have eyeshadow palettes and I again really don't know how I'm going to organize these in fact I may end up ordering more of those things I use for my face palettes to kind of stand them up but for now I just kind of want to get them put in here so this is what I've had them in my larger palettes at least I think we've done it. I rearranged these quite a few times, but this is what I came up with. I'm sure this will change at some point, but for now, I feel like this works really well, and I have all my palettes in one drawer, which is really nice. Before, I had to separate them into two different drawers, but this way I can see everything that I have. All right, you guys, I think we did it. This has literally taken me all day, but I just wanted to go through and show you the drawers really quick. Okay, so foundation, primer, concealer, and corrector is in here. And I will link the things, the organizers that I actually can link. Some of these did come from Amazon, so I'll link those if you're interested, but love how that drawer came out then we have blush and bronzer and i do have some room not a ton but i have a little bit and yeah i'm happy with this too obviously i'll have to keep using it and make sure this is how i like it but okay this drawer is pretty open i don't think i showed this but i ended up putting my skincare stuff that I keep in my office in here as well and then my face palettes highlighters and powders mascara brows eyeliner 
single shadows, shadow um, sticks there, and then this is just mascaras that have not been opened, so I just stuck them there, but there's plenty of room in there. A lip drawer, so we have plenty of room for lipstick, lip liners, lip glosses, lip balms that I have more than one of. I stood up right there. And then we have eyeshadow. And this is all of my palettes, you guys, so I can actually see them all in one place. So I am exhausted. This has taken me so long. I've been filming this for so many hours doing this, but it was so fun, so well worth it. And I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and organizing my makeup. I love videos like this. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Remember, simply be you. Bye.